Hi friends, uh, today we are going to start the methods of teaching English. Uh, this is the paper and which is very very important topic in English methodology. And when we come to this particular uh, methods topic, there are four methods are there. The first one is grammar translation method and second one is direct method and third one is Dr. West's method and fourth one is bilingual method. Uh, now, today we are going to learn about grammar translation method. Now, let us see what is grammar translation method. In this one, uh, by uh, listening to the title of this particular name of the particular method, translation takes place. And another thing is when we come to see the uh, principles of this method is, uh, the first one is it is the oldest method and in the beginning uh, this method they use to teach English under the influence of the classical languages such as Latin, Greek and Sanskrit. And in this particular method, all the students are, uh, are uh, they had to study uh, thoroughly uh, the parts of speech, conjugation and syntax uh, in detail. And they have to by heart the rules of grammar and the exceptions of grammar. And they have to by heart it. And always uh, uh, during the entire uh, method, uh, the students, uh, they use to compare the sentences in English and the sentences in mother tongue. So now that means by this we can understand that mother tongue plays a very important role in this particular method. And now let us see the advantages of this method. Uh, by using this particular method, the teacher as well as the students are quite comfortable because uh, the mother, they are comfortably using the mother tongue. They feel like at home. And another thing is, uh, the next advantage is, teacher is able to cover many, uh, many items in a limited time because uh, they are comfortably using the mother tongue. So whenever a difficulty arises, the teacher is going to explain the things in mother tongue. So uh, it saves time. Another main advantage is it saves time. And in the early, uh, early stages, the understanding of the students are tested understanding of the students was tested uh, through the mother tongue through the mother tongue and another advantage is on the part of the teacher uh, an average teacher also can comfortably handle this particular method that is grammar translation method now let us see the disadvantages of this particular method the first and foremost thing is disadvantage is uh, because the natural way of uh, uh, learning a language is uh, that is li through listening speaking reading and writing uh, this is the order of uh, acquiring a language learning a language in short we call it as lsrw lsrw stands for listening speaking reading and writing but whereas in this particular method it starts with reading it starts with reading so that it is not a natural method so that uh, the students will be able to buy heart many items but whereas they cannot use it for communication purpose because the main purpose of language is it is a means of communication. We have to use it for communication. 
but that is not going to fulfill under this particular method. And the next one is because speaking is neglected and speaking is postponed. postponed. So that the children won't get an opportunity to make use of the language in day to day life. And students role will become very passive because always the teacher is going to uh, uh, going to impart knowledge and the students will be at the receiving end so that there is no chance of make use of this language in the classroom and another disadvantage is no direct bond between thoughts and expression there is no direct bond between thoughts and expression and uh, another disadvantage is teaching learning process will become uh, dull and dry that means uh, the uh, teaching learning process may not be interesting for the children and the next one is uh, another main disadvantage is because each and every word cannot be translated into mother tongue because uh, they we don't have the equivalents equivalents in mother tongue and especially in connection with the prepositions and structural words uh, that is we can't uh, translate them exactly in the into the mother tongue that means for example he is on the committee uh, that is uh, he is in trouble uh, all such things may not be possible to uh, do a uh, translate it into mother tongue and when we come to this one uh, suppose if we try to translate such a type of words sentences into mother tongue it uh, it uh, appears very artificial it appears very artificial and uh, to certain extent uh, meaningless meaningless so that uh, it may not be possible exactly to translate each and every sentence into a mother tongue uh, that it may not convey the exact meaning so that is another literal uh, another disadvantage and literal translation may not be possible so this is about the grammar translation method so one more thing we can do that before i close this i will summarize what we have learned in this particular class grammar translation method is the oldest method and it happened to came into existence under the influence of classical languages such as latin greek and sanskrit and the main thing a main thing that takes place in this particular method is uh, mother tongue plays a very important role that means each and every word will be translated into mother tongue uh, and when we come to the advantages of this particular method it saves time it is quite comfortable on the part of the teacher as well as on the part of the students uh, then they will be a very happy in this particular method but whereas the disadvantages when we come to that the main disadvantage is it is an artificial way of learning a language because natural way of learning a language is listening speaking reading and writing so uh, so friends i think you could understand what is grammar translation method uh, so uh, with this we can uh, come wind up this particular thing we will close this topic and in again we will meet again in next video uh, that is uh, we are going to deal with the second method that is direct method till then bye and before before i go i request all of you to subscribe my channel and just press that bell icon so that as soon as i upload my uh, videos immediately you will get the notification if you like that 
you can give your thumbs up likes to this and whatever the things you want to say you can give them in a comment section okay see you soon bye take care thank you